So the thing for me, what my wife tries to do is to get me not to be so angry mm. when I discipline. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I'll go from zero to ten in a, hunt, in a, in a minute. Mm-hmm. And they'll both say that, okay, you know, you don't need to get so angry about it. Mm-hmm. So I still have to figure out why I get as angry as I do. And I think it's because I feel a, a level of disrespect there you go. And even, when I tell him to do something. But then we go even deeper as men. We have to understand that disrespect is really a surface emotion. Mm-hmm. It's really hurt. Because I know how much you love him. Like, okay. And so it's like, well, man, much as I do for you, you won't even do the chores. Right. You won't uh, do your homework. I talk to your dad. You know what I'm saying? I love this brother. And so it comes off like we're angry at you guys. <laughs> and, and we are initially. But when you dig deeper and you find, like, like if there's a, a leak somewhere uh, underground, the water may rise to the surface, right? It's not, that's not where the problem is. You got to dig to fix the issue. Great when point. we dig a little deeper past um, the disrespect, the anger, okay, while we're mad, we really hurt as fathers. Mm-hmm. The good fathers who give you a good life, make sure you have your clothes, everything you, we want you to have the best. So when we ask you to do something and you don't do it, the anger is rooted in, this isn't fair. I love you, man. I'm doing everything I can for you, and you're still not. You don't, you don't love me, basically, because Yeshua, Jesus said, if you love me, you will do what I say. Obey my commands. Yep, you will obey my commands. 